my beloved love. They've said, everything always points back to her, to Divine Feminine. You are not going to be able to forget this person. And if you don't take some kind of action towards her, if you don't tell her how you've been feeling all this time, you are going to regret it. That is what this person has been saying to this particular masculine. And again, I rarely channel something this specific, but I'm telling you, this is a very specific message for someone listening. This person is no longer in denial about you because of what this person close to them has pointed out to them. Because it's been pointed out, I'm hearing it's been revealed to them, either in a dream, by someone around them. It's been revealed to them in a conscious way that you are their person. I'm hearing the universe, God, whatever they connect with spiritually as their higher power, has revealed to them in a conscious way that you are the one they are meant to be with, that you are their person, and that if they don't take action towards you with the it's time to take action card, the new moon in Aries, they are going to regret it. Something is really pushing them into action. For some reason, I keep hearing something about a phone call. For now, I'm going to close this reading here by sharing one final roomy oracle message, and this card is Layla. So, I'm just going to share a little bit from the guidebook here. Put aside your clever schemes. O oh, lover, be mindless, become mad. Dive into the heart of the flame, become fearless, be like a moth. Turn away from the self and tear down the house, then come and dwell in the house of love. Be a lover, live with lovers. Clean your chest from all hostility, wash it seven times, then fill it with the wine of love. Be a chalice for love, be a chalice. You must be all love to be worthy of the beloved. When going to the gathering of drunks, be a drunk, become drunk. Your thought takes a course, dragging you in its wake. Move beyond thought, let your heart lead, be the leader. Rumi, and the guidebook also says, you are moving through a period of not knowing, of time in the great void or womb of the Divine Mother. It is in this place the seed can crack open and take roots. This cannot happen in the light where all is seen and recognized. It must happen under the cover of darkness where only trust can assure one of success. This is the way of nature, the way of life, and it must be honored. This oracle brings you ancient wisdom. It guides you not to fear the darkness, but to enter into it willingly. It is not for you to become lost, but for you to find your way. This oracle is saying that in the darkness, there is the path. I'm hearing tired of playing games, either in his life romantically, in the dating world. He's tired of these distractions and really desiring a form of long-term stability. With the Four of Wands, this can also be a really powerful soul reunion card, even a twin flame reunion. So this could be a twin flame reunion window that is really opening up that's been in the making for a long time that is now beginning to pull you into it energetically. Divine Feminine, if this is a twin flame situation. If not, this could be a high-level soulmate that is really manifesting another chance with you back into their life. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. Hello beautiful souls. This is where I've been in life, you know. Um, they may have a lot of shame around this. This may be tied to a person. Maybe this is a past relationship that, you know, they still felt some type of energy, you know. This could be a negative energy, a lower energy attached to them in some kind of way. Maybe this has something to do with a thing, you know. Maybe something that they used to do. Or this, this could manifest in many, many different ways. But they still feel like it's affecting them in some kind of way. And they've noticed that it's affecting this connection. And so, when you first approach them, the fact that you even picked up on this energy is mind-blowing because they've never shared this with you. But they can, you know, sometimes. Maybe they were a little bit irritable, or maybe they were standoffish. It has nothing to do with you. But any type of energy that's within a person has to come out, and a lot of times when you align with someone who makes you feel safe, something about your internal and your emotional process will begin to purge, you know. Your person may not have even picked up on this, 
but it's like that click for them in that moment. Wow, once I got around the Divine Feminine, these things started to show. You know, I started to show myself. So even though you're at a distance from your person, something is happening at this time, and your person is definitely being pulled in your direction. I feel like you can pick up on this energy, um, very, very intensely right now, because they're going through a healing process. This is definitely happening universally with this energy. It's almost as if things that are not supposed to be here are just naturally purging. Okay, your person is definitely seeing you through the lens of love, of true love, and of peace. You have offered them, you have given them the gift of peace and authenticity. It made them feel like it's okay for them to actually be themselves in a connection, and this may be very new to them. So where they stand right now, their heart only wants you. It's almost impossible for them to open up to anyone else because you are the person who has given them this very, very rare gift. Okay, Divine Feminine, I got so clearly that God is about to reveal your true colors, and not only that, the true colors of everyone who was in close proximity to you. Now that this energy can manifest in a very, very positive way, and for the most part, this is a very, very positive energy. As you know, we are under the influence of this eclipse energy, which is extremely powerful, but more importantly, extremely transformational. Life as you know it will never be the same. For some of you, you have felt this energy rising for the past couple of weeks. I'm getting clearly that your sleep schedules have kind of been all over the place. You may feel a little anxious at one moment, but overall, you'll know that you're in true alignment if you feel even though this energy is rising. Even though it may feel a little chaotic here, you feel this energy of calm. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.